What's going on guys? Lone Driver Mike again bringing you guys another video. Guys, what's going on? Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I've been absent for like six months. You know, I had some shit to deal with and you know, I had some bills, some debt, different things. Fucking, uh, I just had different things going on and then this virus has been messing up my money. You know, you know, like for a while, I, it's been going on for about three months. You know, they shut down businesses. Um, oh, they shut down restaurants. And then, you know, I've been trying to get some documents, uh, you know, government things. You know, and they're closing down, uh, you know, the, they closed down the DMV for a while. Closed down the Social Security office for a while. You know, just different things that people just need to get done. But they can't because they closed it because of the coronavirus. And, like, I'm not trying to get political here, but it's just like, you know, you close everything down, you're fucking up people's lives. I know people are dying, but, you know, like I said, you, you practice social distancing, you know. You know, ha have have a mask, you know, stay six feet apart, wear some uh, hand sanitizer, wash your hands. You know, just just be always wash your hands too because when you touch your surface, it's like a new surface. You know that you might have touched the surface with the um, virus, so you know you touch that, you touch your mask, right? The mask you breathe it in, you know it can go in in through the mask. I mean, if you could touch your nose, you know, and it could, you know, what I'm saying, it's a virus for crying out loud. You know, it can get through anywhere. So you wear a mask. That's cool and all. That will prevent you from sneezing and stuff and spreading it but at the same time it's it's also spread through touch so if you touch that you touch your mask you touch your face the mask is not gonna stop the virus anyways i don't mean to get into it but that's just the truth so anyways i've i'm sorry i've been absent but like i said i was trying to get things done the virus hit us you know and i did a few deliveries and there were some decent days i did pretty decent like there were you know, there were some slow days here and there, but overall, it was actually not too bad, and uh, I actually worked last Saturday. Oh, by the way, I have a car again. Yeah, so it's it's nice. You know, it's not too bad. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm back at it. I got a car doing deliveries again, but yeah, I mean, I... You know, I, I like I said, guys, I've been absent for a while trying to get things done, and... Uh, yeah, but I'm good. My health is good. I'm okay. I'm I'm doing fine. But um, yeah, guys, uh, comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm gonna start making videos again. Um, try to record my uh, deliveries if possible. I I, I gotta order the camera. Kind of like to record out to view the to view what I'm viewing. Um, I'll talk more about that when it comes, but, uh, I think that'll be exciting to be able to see me on deliveries in action. You know, I'm going to make more videos about, you know, giving advice, different things, but yeah, this virus, I just, uh, you know, it, it messed up a lot of people. Some people didn't really affect some, you know, this virus might've benefited you. Maybe it hurts you. I don't know. You know, it's, it's just, uh, you know, we just need to get back to normal because, you know, like, I've been trying to get some documents and then, you know, some appointments, different things. But, you know, they're closed. You got to call them up. You got to set an appointment. You got to press zero. You got to talk to somebody. Then you got to, they're going to mail you an application. You got to fill it out. You know, just, it's just, uh, you know, it's, but no, in positive news, I got a car. You know, I just paid for it. It's paid off. It's not that much, but, um, you know, it runs good. It's a good little delivery car. So this will get me you know, get me back in a groove of things, start making videos, start making decent money again, and, uh, yeah, more freedom, you know, to do different things, but other than that, because before I was, I was in bike, doing bike deliveries for, like, six months, you know, so, and it's, it's no big deal, but, you know, it's summertime now, you know, I'm, I'm a white dude, I, I don't really enjoy the heat, you know, I get sunburned easily, I've been wearing the, uh, the uh, aloe vera, uh, sunblock, whatever, try to protect my head because, you know, I mean, I can get sun cancer or I can get, you know, heat stroke, different things, you know, really bad sunburn. So, you know, it's very important, you know, that you, uh, you know, especially if you're light complected, you know, make sure you wear sunblock, you know, if you're out doing deliveries, 
you know, if you're doing ride share, you're going to be staying in your car all day. But yeah, if you're going in and out of your car, you know, just be careful. You know, make sure you have uh, some water with you. Make sure you have sunblock, you know, and uh, just always practice safety first. You know, make sure you have your seatbelt on. You know, because like I said, you know, the coronavirus is out there. But, you know, anything can happen. Car can hit you. Pass over from heat stroke. I mean, there were a few days, a few weeks ago, it was like 100 and... 103, 104, 105. So that's when you really want to be careful. And if you do this, if you do decide to work in extreme weather, just be careful. You know, like if you're delivering in the snow, make sure your uh, tires are, you know, for snow proof or whatever, ice proof. You know, if you're delivering in the in the uh, summertime and it's hot, you know, make sure you have water, ice cold water. Make sure your AC works. That's very important. Uh, make sure you have sunblock, aloe vera, different things. And yeah, but other than that, the uh, COVID-19, plus the, there were some riots. They stopped the deliveries. In some cities, they actually stopped completely. They turned off DoorDash. I know in Philadelphia. Philadelphia got pretty bad. And uh, I know a couple people from Philadelphia, and they said, yeah, they just turned off DoorDash. There's no service. They can't even do deliveries. Because they turned off the app because it was too dangerous. Some other cities got pretty bad, but you know they did a curfew on uh, for a while till like eight o'clock, so or seven or eight. Sometimes before that, some restaurants close like at five o'clock because they're like we're not going to deal with this. And so yeah, that was like a good week. I mean, there's still protests, but they're more they're mostly peaceful. There's a few protests in Sacramento still going on at night time, but. It's pretty peaceful. There was some looting, some light looting, uh, but no burning buildings. Uh, nothing too crazy. I think they robbed the uh, um, T-Mobile Metro PCS store, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, on K, K and 10th. I heard about that. But other than that, Sacramento didn't get trashed like some other cities. So we're, I'm thankful. But, you know, like I said, guys, just be careful. When you're out there, um, you know, because like I said, life is short. Anything can happen, you know, and uh, just just be careful, you know. Forgive and forget, move on, you know, don't let things bother you. Don't let people mess you up. Don't let the weather, or, you know, virus, don't let things mess you up. Don't let things, you know, slow you down. Be careful, obviously, you want to practice social distancing, uh, you know, you want to have a proper, uh, you know, mask and, you know, uh, hand sanitizer. I always wash my hands even before this virus. And that's the most important thing people don't realize. You know, the mask is cool. Uh, hand sanitizer is cool. But the most important thing is washing of the hands, washing the face, washing the hands constantly. Wash the hands first and then wash your face. Um. But I, I always wash my face, I always wash my hands, and people should always be doing that. You know, that should be common knowledge, but, you know, we have to be reminded about doing that, and it's ridiculous. Like, before you eat, wash your hands. After you eat, wash your hands. Like, when I'm doing deliveries, every time I have a delivery, you know, if I'm busy, I may forget to wash my hands. But every time I remember, and I have the time, I'm just like, hey... Use the bathroom, wash my hands, I'll wash my arms, wash my face. You know, I mean, just always be clean. We're dealing with food. I mean, we're not necessarily touching the food per se, but, you know, we're grabbing the bag, we're grabbing the handle. Just be sanitary. Think about the customer. Think about your health as well. I mean, it's very important. So, but no, guys, I'm back at it. And, uh, yeah, so I did... I've been working here and there, but I, I'm still running errands, so I'm not working as hard. But uh, but no, I did a full day Saturday. Uber Eats has been pretty good, and uh, I think I made about two fifty on Saturday, so that was awesome. And uh, I think Friday was not too bad, and then Sunday was good too. Um, I got my biggest payout on Uber Eats on Sunday. That's gonna be the next video totally forgot about that it's pretty i'm not going to talk about it but you'll see it on my next video it was pretty badass pretty awesome video or pretty awesome delivery and uh, i'll talk about it in my next video but anyways guys that's all i've got to say 
I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that I'm okay. Got a car again. Update you on what's going on, and that's about it. But anyways, um, other than that, that's all I've got to say. Guys, comment below. Tell me how you guys been. Like, is the COVID-19 messing up the, your deliveries? Have you been getting more deliveries? Um, Rideshare drivers, have you been busy? Have you been slow? What's been going on? I know in the beginning it was... It's kind of slow for Uber and Lyft, but it it's definitely been picking up from what from what I've been hearing. So, anyways, guys, um, thanks for your support. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. I know I was gone for like six months, but uh, you know, like I said, I needed to take a break. I needed to take care of some business. But other than that, that's it. So, anyways, guys, thanks again. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you can. And until next time, guys, that's it. That's all I've got to say. All right, guys, peace out. See ya.